Hi my friends, today we model this part and this is the drawing. We start by creating this contour, you see this one. Dimensions 25, 60 degrees, radius 25, 13, 24 and 40 with a thickness of 30 when we apply extrude. This will be the center point. Let's start. New standard millimeter IPT XY plane and we draw a circle somewhere here with a radius of uh, 25. The placement of this from the center point is uh, 70 minus 2 dimensions in the drawing. Then we draw three lines. One, two, three. And we trim this uh, arc. We add some dimensions, 25, 24, 40 to the center point on horizontal, 60 degrees, and this distance is, oh, my mistake. 68 is not here. The dimension is from this face, 70 minus 2. Mea culpa, my friends. The 25, and this is 13. Good. Finished sketch. We have a fully constrained sketch. Finished sketch and extrude on 30, but symmetrical. 30. This is the first volume. Now we'll create a sphere to be in contact with these three uh, faces with a radius 60 from that center point. We use the same plane XY for a new sketch. Then a circle with a radius 60 and the center on the center point. We draw a horizontal, this is a horizontal, and we place it containing the center point. Trim of this arc and we make this as a center line. Finish sketch, revolve, with cut. Okay. You see the spherical surface here. This is cylindrical, yes? This is the difference. Spherical, cylindrical. Now we see here thickness of uh, 1.5 millimeters. 
to this uh, new volume. We apply the tool shell and we eliminate this face and this face. Okay. But I remember that the dimension is 1.5, yes? I used the default value. 1.5, my friends. Good. Now we have to create this uh, uh, spherical face with a thickness 1.5 as well. All of this. We start by using the same plane and we project this sketch. We make visible firstly, visible, and then we project one, two entities. We hide that uh, sketch and we know what we have. Then we apply offset to outside of 1.5. This line is not necessary. Delete. We also trim this and the other because the reference is uh, that uh, center line. We have to connect these two points to have a close contour. Okay. Finish sketch. Revolve of this area about a known axis. And uh, we apply not 360 but 180 symmetrical okay I I applied cut instead of join double click and I don't need to use this this is what I want to have. Okay. You see the result. Very interesting. We continue with this uh, contour with a distance of 40 here. And uh, we'll see that we have to apply this to multiply the result for three times. The thickness is also 1.5. We turn the part, we select a face for a new sketch, uh, this face, F5 to see the same view, then we project one, two, three entities. We select these two to make them construction. Then we use the tool line to create an arc. Start from this corner, go somewhere, Keeping press the left button, you know the procedure. 90 degrees. Okay. Then we place the line to contain this uh, point. An arc between these two points 
and now I try to find the tangency this is equal are these two arcs with the same radius and the dimension is 40 finish sketch extrude the other direction with cut now with join now with intersect all the way through the part okay <laughs> you see the result then if we take a look here we see that undimensioned fillets are radius too only this uh, uh, has uh, that the fillets that edges 2 is by default and I place it at each corner ok we apply circular pattern for all features here we select the direction, the, the axis, which is Y, and we place here three occurrences. Okay. Very nice. Now we have to create this uh, feature. 88 internal 20 thickness of 2 and this is the face we'll use we turn back the part we select this face for a new sketch center is here the projection of the center point is here circle with that uh, center not radius but diameter of 88 then another circle diameter of 20 finish sketch extrude this area on two millimeters going down okay the last are these three holes diameter of 3.5 diameter of 6 angle of 90 we select this face we place a point on the same horizontal x is horizontal with a center point oh i selected dimension dimension is 60 divided by 2 and the placement is aligned with the center point finish sketch hole this solution with uh, 6 3.5 and the angle is already placed 90 we apply circular pattern of the last feature about y axis three occurrences okay
Let's see what is the volume of this part. I properties, physical update, copy, close, double click, and the new value is almost the same. We keep the new value even if the difference is very very small okay material is uh, ABS plastic color general color is light orange we select each faces by keeping press the shift button on the keyboard then we select the face of uh, nickel view shaded without edges and not default IBL but default lights now we can compare the two and we don't see any difference that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye